Hey, what's going on, everyone? Today, we're looking at the just announced merger between IPOE and SoFi, a leading personal finance technology company, and also has naming rights to the stadium the Los Angeles Rams play in, SoFi Stadium. There are three things we're going to talk about today. First, a quick review of the merger details, a description of what SoFi does and the financials valuation, and at the end, where the stock price might go. So make sure you hang till the end. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. So first off, this deal was not officially confirmed when it was initially reported by Reuters, but rather that the deal was in advance talks. And then soon after, Chamath later tweeted that SoFi was in fact going public via IPOE. So that basically all but confirmed the deal was happening. And then it became official when SoFi made a press release announcing the deal, as you can see here. And this deal is valuing the company at $8.7 billion pro forma, which was a 21.3x multiple based on 2024 income. They're getting a huge cash injection via $805 million from IPOE's money raised, then $370 million from T. Rose Investment, and finally $1.2 billion from Pipe Investors. And this totals $2.4 billion. This will be allocated first off with $1.9 billion going to SoFi's balance sheet, and then $65 million for the deal transaction fees, $275 million to repay Galileo's seller note, and $175 million for secondary proceeds. The ownership after the merger will be 9.3% IPOE shareholders, 14.2% pipe investors, 2.3% from IPOE sponsor, so Chamath and company, and 74.2% will be current SoFi shareholders. And this deal will in fact close by Q1 of 2021. And Chamath Palihapitiya, who is CEO and co-founder of Social Capital, which is a venture capital firm, is behind this SPAC. As IPOE is Social Capital Hita Sophia's fifth SPAC, following IPOA, IPOB, IPOC, and IPOD. And these SPACs have had some pretty impressive deals. First, they got Virgin Galactic, which has enormous upside. And then IPOB merged with Open Door, which is trading almost 30 bucks a share. And the most recently announced deal was IPOC merging with Clover Health, which is actually just now completing its merger. Now, something interesting is that IPOD has yet to announce its merger or any speculation of what it might be. So we've kind of skipped to IPOE, which is the biggest reason I see for that is IPOD didn't raise nearly as much money, only $460 million compared to over $800 million IPOE raised. And that was most likely what they needed to get a deal done with SoFi. So today, if you were looking at IPOE, you could see the stock went up around 40% almost as soon as the deal was announced or the rumor. And then following that, it dropped back to the high 20s percentage where it was then halted. And the reason for that is there was a press release incoming which prompted that halt. Then they announced officially of a definitive agreement of the merger, which after it was then unhalted. And the stock jumped up more than 60% at one point. And then later it cooled down, of course. But if you haven't gotten into IPOE yet or are looking into it, taking a look at SoFi probably wouldn't be a bad idea, or even if you bought in right after you heard of the speculation. So what I've outlined here is a pretty concise summary of the company and what you need to know to get a general picture. Number one, SoFi was founded in 2011 and is based in San Francisco, California. The company does all sorts of financial services, which would probably require a 40-minute video to go over. But their investor presentation, which is linked in the description, gives a pretty good summary, and the focus is good. So basically, they say that most people have several bank accounts that kind of scatters all their assets. Precisely 50% of Americans say they use more than one bank for financial services. So with this problem in mind that people's finances are spread out, SoFi offers their platform and mobile app to provide financial services that can do all things in one place. So this is like loans, investing, mortgages, student loans, etc., all in one place. And if you look at this right here, you can see some of the things they offer on the platform. And the most exciting thing is all these things here have been launched in the last two years. And their member growth is accordingly growing explosively with 75% year-over-year growth. One key stat that stood out to me with their home loan financing was that with $1 million in marketing acquisition, they are able to bring in $30 million in revenue. It's a pretty darn good conversion rate. 
They also stress their partnership with Galileo, which has helped accelerate their growth, particularly with offering their services to 50 million accounts via Galileo's partners, which is a huge bonus. And a really good overview is shown here in kind of like a pyramid graphic. So SoFi is targeting high earners, meaning people making more than 100K per year. And to these people, on just one platform, they offer their array of services, borrow, saving, spending, investing, and protecting. And they elevate themselves with their speed, selection, content, and convenience. And then their capabilities with risk and underwriting, operations and fulfillment, marketing expertise, and funding and distribution strategy. And all of this is supported by their tech infrastructure, which consists of their core technology and their transaction processes. Now, with all of that, taking a look at the financials, we can see the year-over-year -year growth and EBITDA is very strong, with $621 million in revenue in 2020, growing by 58% to almost a billion in revenue for 2021, then growing up to $3.6 billion by 2025, with a growth rate of around 35% year-over-year. Their EBITDA margin is also set to grow strongly, and you can see how they will be flipping it to positive by 2021, which will then continue to grow at a strong rate, going up to 45% by 2025, which would be an EBITDA margin of 32%. They also break their business segments into three parts, lending, tech platform, and financial services, and show here what stages of growth they are in. With lending growing at 25%, compound growth rate, their tech platform is growing at 55%, and financial services the biggest at 153%. Their contribution profit margin is also expanding nicely, up to 41% by 2025. As far as stock price predictions go, people have been waiting to invest in SoFi for so long that it's very likely the price will continue to go up as more people learn of the merger and that they can invest in IPOE and become SoFi shareholders. So it seems that this stock would continue to rise, but also take note that the deal wasn't priced cheaply. At 18 bucks a share, for example, SoFi would have a market cap of 15 billion, which would be a 36x from 2024 net income. But also people are definitely willing to pay a huge premium to invest in the stock. So take note of that as well. And the company will also be profitable this year. So with all that going for it, it's hard not to see IPOE stock continuing to go up. And with that, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, consider subscribing and liking the video, and I hope to catch you next time.